Okay guys, this is Dr. Ron Miller with cashbasedphysiotherapy.org. For some reason I keep on wanting to say Pursuit Physiotherapy, but um, this is the last video in our new series, um, breaking down my startup checklist on how to start a cash-based physiotherapy practice. Um, this is the last video, and this is where we need a lot of work as physiotherapists. And it seems kind of common sense-y, and you're like, yeah, th this is the last video. But when you get to the bread and butter of it, you know, the number one reason why people, or f I'm not even going to say people, the number one reason why physical therapists don't open a successful cash-based clinic is mindset and fear of failure. We're so stuck in the old ways of doing things, we're scared to get outside of our comfort zone. We're like, what? Someone's going to pay cash for physical therapy? No. You know, we're so stuck in that old mindset where, where we're looking through a lens and the research shows that we're, only, we're all competing for like 7 to 16% of the PT market through the physician model. And we're not looking at the huge big model um, of healthcare and people who we can truly help. Um, we're stuck in the old mindset, fear of failure. We don't think it's going to work. And it's true. As you start to do something great, it's scary. It's hard. You know, you're going to fail sometimes, but you have to, you know, I have multiple videos on this. You can't view that hardship or that obstacle or that failure as I'm just going to quit and walk away. No, it's done. You have to learn from it. It's a learning experience. This is how you'll grow. And you'll learn from the hardships and the failures and you'll change the thing and overcome each failure on the step of you getting to that successful cash-based practice. You will fail. I failed so many times with certain things. Oh, I spent a thousand dollars of marketing on this, it didn't work. Oh, I tried this, it didn't work. Oh, I stopped my email system, my, my referrals went down. I mean, you're gonna mess up. This is why I developed my system to help you so you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And where do we get the business development from? You gotta start reading. You know, you should be at that expert level where, you know, your outcomes are great. You know, you got your business set up. Now you have to start reading some business and professional mindset books. We need to get into that business mindset um, so we can overcome and thrive as small business owners, as private practice owners, and as physical therapists, period. Because we're, we're starting from the bottom and the blueprint's set low and we don't have the right mindset and we've been stuck in just standard healthcare for so long and the public doesn't even know about us so um, I believe that we can truly add true value to healthcare and help a lot of people and be the experts in musculoskeletal injuries so um, we do need some work in the business side of things from business set up to the business mindset and you know start studying successful people when I have a patient who's a CEO or a small business owner or a successful person I take them out to lunch I will ask that person questions nonstop until I learn something from them and you'll learn a lot from taking other people out to lunch outside of healthcare and running problems by them um, I have my 101 forum group that everyone in my 101 system has access to everyone else and we can problem solve together. And when you grow your business into my local domination and growth packages and the advanced stuff, you can be welcome to my mastermind group where I'll have people here one to four times a year and we'll have mastermind sessions on how to grow and expand your practice beyond just a one person clinic. Um, but my 101 system is designed that if you implement it properly, you should be able to generate over $10,000 a month of revenue in a single person practice. But it all starts with personal growth, mindset, avoiding fear of failure, learning from hardships and failures and growing from them, and really having the business mindset of what it takes to be successful and to run a successful cash-based physical therapy practice. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. Better yet, let me know what book you're reading right now. Put it in the comment box below. Let me know what personal growth, business book, success book you're reading right now. If you're watching this video, put it in the comment box below. Well, I'm sure that we'll get a great list of a lot of great books. So um, if you have any questions or concerns about my program, please send me an email, put it in the comment box. Um, and I hope this helps. 
and this series really helped you break down my startup checklist because you got it for free and it will teach you everything you need to do to open up your business and get ready to start seeing patients. So I hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed this video series and thank you very much for following me.